It's Apprentice, National Apprentice Week this week. Ooh. Should we talk a little bit about apprenticeships and how hard it is? Apprenticeships, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. What do you want to talk about? Do you remember yours? After, I actually had to go and tell a partner I'd been with, right? Which, to be quite honest with her, her family were a bunch of hard nuts and I was scared Mm. to knock on the door. (laughs) So I got me mate to knock on the door and said, can you tell her... Well, you didn't go around there. <laughs> you didn't go around no, there. No, I'm too scared. <laughs> too scared. Have you seen these these robot waitresses? There was one at the airport. Really? They take yeah. So it's not a person. What it's a stands did? No, this was in Belfast coming back. Oh, really? Hello, welcome to off the job overtime, where there's banter and your story shared. Please be warned, there may be some general explicit content. So we've had some messages, people saying, is the show edited? And 100% it's not edited, all off the cuff, live. Yeah, I don't know who, why people would actually think that, you know what I mean? Like, well, what's that Why would about? you edit a show? I mean, we're not professionals or anything like that, are we? I mean, look, Just to clarify, it's not edited. No, we don't edit nothing. Like, it's just what you see is what you, like, that's us just straight off the cuff. And I don't know why people would actually think that. <laughs> why would they think it's edited, Pete? Not, no idea whatsoever. Hmm. Bit, jump, co- bit of cornflake. Your, jump, <laughs> your jumper's got hairy. <laughs> oh, a bit of fluff on your jumper. Look, look, look. <laughs> I could do all that. Look, <laughs> but uh, yeah, bit of woo, movies, movies. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to another overtime show. Me and Pete. Waffling. Yeah. You had a good weekend? I'll tell you what. I like in the new merch, eh? Hey, hey. Eh? Some people are saying we look like uh, a football team. What, like West Ham, innit? West Ham. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. West Ham. I like, had a few Hammers supporters um, um, comment. It can um, go either way, can't it? Huh? Off huh? the job. Kieran was like, I'll get the old uh, off the job mugs in on shot. <laughs> You're know, empty. <laughs> yeah. Empty. What's the point? We just had a coffee did, in the wrong mug. Why did you not fill them up while you was out there? I can't have two coffees. Unbelievable. In an hour. Oh, look. Put it in shot. Oh. Right, we've got the hats as well. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beanies. Don't want to mess my hair up. Yeah, me too. I've just. Good, eh? <laughs> I'm going to wear this skiing. Are you going skiing, are you? Yeah. When? February. Oh, yeah. 23rd. Oh, yeah. It's nice. It's all right for some. Spare it? spot. Do you want to come? It's me. Is there? Someone's pulled out. Is it? Yeah. How much? 250 quid all in. <sighs> Is that all? Flights, hotel, and uh, transfers. I'll go. We Shut always, it. <laughs> we always get it for 250 quid. That's how, like... Where is it? We're not staying in the five-star. I don't care. I don't care. Whereabouts is <laughs> it? Eight people in one how room. How many days? Past little Casa. How many Andorra. days? Uh, it's Thursday till Monday. Is it? Four days. Three nights, I think. When? February. Feb, yeah. Nah, I probably can't make it. What day? <laughs> 23rd, I think. Don't think I'd love to go. Let me know mm. next time. I'll come on it oh, next yeah, time. Yeah, definitely. I want to go at the end of the year, all of us, as a team. What? Gas app? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. It's on my... I've actually Is put it on it, you? You heard that, didn't you? I it's put, all on him. I, I put it on my vision board. <laughs> Did you? Serious, yeah. I want to take the team to skiing. Gas app though, not off the job. Not off the job. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> but yeah, let's. Uh, it's Apprentice National Apprentice Week this week. Ooh. Should we talk a little bit about apprenticeships? Apprenticeships. And how hard it yeah, is? yeah, yeah. Go on. What do you want to talk about? Do you remember yours? No, because I didn't do one. No, I did. I didn't do a proper like three years at college. Well, I done electrics when I first left school. Oh yeah, that's it. I don't talk about that again, but. So I'd done an apprenticeship then, but it stopped because the company I worked for ran out of work. I, I didn't have a proper apprenticeship. I did... Plumbing um, I did. I was like on the quick courses. Yeah, I yeah. did... Um, I did uh, two... I only done a year and a half at college because me and my mates used to go to college after work mm. and we'd be finishing like six o'clock sometimes and we have to be at college by like half six and we were deep in Hackney and sometimes we wouldn't make it. Sometimes we just... <laughs> We just end up rolling in late to college, mm. and we was just like we're behind. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes we didn't go to college at all. Like we'd end up going up the driving range, or 
we'd be just parked in the college car park. It sounds ridiculous, but this was a mentality of us. We'd be like, my mates would be going, no, it's not worth it going in today, Pete. And we'd be eating our McDonald's. And then we'd end up having a tomato sauce fight in the car. Yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I, didn't, I, I, I did my first year and a half at college. That yeah, I did, I did me lead. Did you do your lead? Oh, you didn't do your lead, did you? No, because I'd done... So the electrics, I'd done full-time at college. Straight when I left school, I went to college full-time. Yeah. I think then I'd done two years, then got an apprenticeship with my uncle. That's why I went into electrics, because yeah. I knew I could get a job. Because it's... If you're a person that's trying to apply for apprentices, it's almost impossible to find an apprenticeship. Like, what, as an apprentice? Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm quite lucky in terms of getting jobs. Yeah. I always knew someone that could get me a job. I do get messages from um, people. Funnily enough, I had a message from someone last night who said they're a general plumber mm. and they um, they said that they was tr they wanted to move on and progress, but he's like later stages, like 29 or whatever. So I'll give him Adam's number from, um, yeah. Uh, what is it? What's the name of it? Adam. Uh, access training. Access training, yeah. 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 So I give him his. Uh, I pointed him in a direction on Instagram for that access training. That's cool, yeah. So what he wants to do an apprenticeship. Either that or wants to move forward with his uh, plumbing and and move into the gas or or something. It's hard because there's no like there needs to be like a central hub for apprentices. If you was going to look for an apprenticeship, what do you where do you look? They used to be them. What's it? JTL or something? Remember them? JTL. Yeah, it was like an apprenticeship scheme. No, it wasn't. Was no, it not J two L. It was. I know. I know. It was called. Yeah. 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 There was an apprenticeship scheme. I don't know if that's still uh, running, but it was called YTS. It was, was called it? Y I've it was called that, YTS. Yeah. In my day, it was called YTS, and you get paid thirty five quid a week. Mm. Thirty five quid a week. Where would you go now? Like people want someone that can do the job. Trying to train someone up. And then it's a risk of them leaving once they're trained up. It's quite a big risk having an apprenticeship, but yeah, it's important to keep the trade industry going. I think like there are some companies that if they work on their apprentices, and depending on the individual, um, I know some apprentices who have been with their company from the start. Do you know mm. what I mean? But depending on the individual, if the, listen, if we're all like. Like us, we wanted to do our own business. You can't expect an apprentice no, no. to stay on with you forever because he's going to want to go his yeah, own way. You're either that person or you're not. Yeah. You're going to work for yourself. And the thing is, what the the thing is, I would say to any apprentice is, and it, like if you're if you are an apprentice and you're planning to move forward, don't tell your boss. And that sounds harsh, right? But if you're planning, if you're if you've if you've done your apprenticeship and you're looking to move away from the company and start on your own, don't tell your boss because they don't want to hear that. They want to think that you're going to be with them for the rest. of All bosses think you're going to be with them for yeah, the rest yeah. as long as they want you. When I Do left, you know I mean? it was a shitstorm because I just like, I'd done the plumbing course. You learn all the you learn more on the job, didn't you? So yeah. I, I I was working for a plumber for a long time, and then they put me on like to get my gas. I had to do like the basic plumbing course. It yeah. was like a six-week course. I took six weeks off work. Mm. I had to use my holiday. And then they, I think it was unpaid for the rest of the time, um, but they paid for the course. Mm. So I'd done the course, then I'd done my gas, and I left about a year later. And, that yeah, they weren't happy. But in the contract, I didn't play by the contract. I'd always wanted to go and do my own thing. It weren't like I'm going to get the courses out of them. It just happened. Um yeah, a year later, and he kicked off. They did, on my last pay, they did stop me some money mm. without saying anything, and I just thought, you know what, I've got a nice wet back in the back of my van, a nice drill. Yeah. Well, you can, the thing is, you can say it, you can see it from both sides, isn't it, of the coin. Like, if, you're, if your boss is in... I get it, if, yeah, if, yeah. if he's investing his time and money into you as an apprentice, you're not going to be on the best money, and you've got to take it that you're gaining knowledge, obviously, and that is worth... Money in itself, in it. Do you know what I mean? It's the, not like you're not earning them money. Yeah, like you're earning them money. You while are you're earning doing them. It. Yeah, you are earning the money, but at the same time, they give. They are giving you the knowledge. Yeah. A, a, a lot of companies won't. There are some companies out there which will employ you as an apprentice, but they'll be using you as a dog's body, mm. and it's up to you to find out or, or 
whether or not this is the company for you. If they're just using you to make them money and not actually give you anything back and paying you a shit wage, mm. then you're probably not worth being in that company. But if a company's going to look after you, they'll show mm. you what you're doing and all that. And then after the apprenticeship, they give you a good package. Then what are you... Do you know what I mean? You're safe, aren't you? And today's, today's day of like the economic crisis and that, you're probably better off being with a company. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're if you're that sort of way inclined, you're happy to stay with a company. Yeah, you are probably better off to go on your own. You end up being worse off if you've got a van company. Yeah. It's a risk. It's a massive risk going on your own. Massive risk. I've just literally, I mean, I worked for a company for a few months. I mm. took time off of self-employment went to work for a company sort of and then I've taken I've taken time out to go back on my own because I've got to rebuild my business for but I've had to rebuild it basically again and it's not easy it's not easy and trying to get waiting for that phone to ring it's massive pressures yeah. looking after your van your insurance and all that it's a fucking nightmare but it's what you want out of it at the end of the day isn't I it? think you the know? main thing you need to be organized and I certainly am not that that keeps your mind straight when it's all in your head. You it makes yeah. things ten times worse. I, I mean, I've got to take I've got to take more leaves out of your book, really. Do you know what I mean? Because I am not organised. I write everything down, just even set. Just let me fucking tax return. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I've never hell. always been that way. I've always wrote things down, but I'm getting more and more as I get on. Yeah. Like I'm noticing that I love just writing everything down. I love everything mapped out of how things have got to be. Otherwise, how do you know how well you're doing? If you haven't got it written down and you're not tracking anything, you don't know. Yeah. You are very organised. I've got to, like, since starting this with you, I thought, because I didn't really know what you was like yeah. before this, but you are very organised and very focused, is mm. what I've, I tell everyone when I see him, like, well, what's Kieran like? Well, fuck me. He's, he surprised me because, yeah. like, people yeah. don't really know what I'm like. Yeah, no, you, you, you're well in tune and you well want to get, when you want to get something, you go and mm. get it, and you're a go getter. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think it's just because I've not always been like that. I think just when you've got that plan ahead of you, that makes you want to go and get that. Yeah. And then you stay focused on mm. that. Definitely. Definitely. But yeah, so. Anyway. What are the. Uh, Comments for the apprenticeships, and if they're struggling out there, what? Just don't give up. Keep applying. I reckon message people online. Like yeah, we're with social you. media these days, right? And you, and you're going to get it, right? I get lots of apprentices message me to say, "Can I work with you?" Right? And you're going to get knockbacks. And I'll be admit, I've not got time for an apprentice. I've got no time to really yeah, organise yeah, myself. But there will be people. But there will out be there. people out there. Yeah. Just take you've take all the knockbacks. Going. Take all the knockbacks and like don't always be polite in your messaging. Do you know what I mean? And 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 take the knockbacks well. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'd say. Um, and don't get your mum to fucking message companies for fuck's sake because that's the, that's the worst thing. I've had some people's mums message me before and say, "Oh, could you take my son on?" I'm like, "No." Yeah. <laughs> Look, for number one, don't ask any company. To take your son on because no company's going to take you seriously if he can't ask his, ask himself. Do you know what I mean? That's even if you have to. Like I know if you're in a position to go and work for someone for free. Yeah. Like, I'm lucky I didn't have to do that. Yeah, but if you there'd can, be a lot yeah. of one man bands out there would be happy to take someone on. Yeah, as long as you're the right person, you turn up in time. You're willing. You're not stay off your, your phone fucking all day. phone. Yeah, just you'll be able to get someone out there. Be like, look, can I come and work with you yeah. for a couple of months just to get some experienced but as long as you're in a position to not there'd be people that want to give you money if it works out but that's an option is to just say look can i come and work with you yeah but um yeah it's tough it's tough getting in the trade and getting an apprenticeship yeah and uh at what? college make sure um you know you're get your work done or get your work done and the thing is a lot of people that go college that them, well, especially me, I hated doing like paperwork yeah. stuff. Shit, isn't it? So normally, not everyone that goes to uni, there's like different types of people, isn't there? Mm. Generally, a lot of people that go to college... Fuck about. They mess about. They don't want to do the paperwork. So then go to college because you hated school to do all the coursework and that. It's, yeah. But it doesn't get done, does it? A lot but, and that you might enjoy doing that trade. So it might push you on to do that. But yeah, it's, it's just not that, easy. What I would do, personally, what I would do and and... and and like we've just touched on the subject actually, but my mate who was a who 
I used to work for and that he said if if I had my time again or I said I could tell my son what to do and say go and get your apprenticeship go and get it go and get mm. that paperwork that three years work of work that'll take you up to the age of 19 20 yeah have a break after mm. have a break Enjoy go life, go, yeah. and, go and work the season doing snowboarding mm. or something like that do you know what I mean snowboarding skiing whatever do that when you're young and then you can come back and you've got you've got your paperwork and you're more than likely to go and be able to get on a firm. Your world, your oyster, as soon as you've got that bit of paper and you're qualified at something, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Do you know what I mean? If you're young, you can do that, can't yeah, you? Yeah, You start, yeah. Yeah, go and get it. Enjoy life while you're on that journey. I think mm. that's sort of the main point. Yeah. But, um, but so what did you do at the weekend then? I, um, I flew to Belfast. Oh. Yeah, to watch my friend. Actually, I was in his ele same electrical course at college. He's now a professional boxer under Matchroom, Eddie Hearn. So he was fighting in Belfast. Did he win? He won, yeah. What round? Four. So he's very good. He's a cruiserweight. Um, that's his eighth fight now. I think six KOs. Mm. It's C4 Chev, his name is, if you want to check him out. But yeah, he's. Uh, I went to college with him. And I've started going to all of his professional fights, but he's in the Olympics. Oh, right. GB squad, yeah. So he's done a... So we only went pro like two years ago. He's done his apprenticeship through the boxing, isn't he? Yeah, so he, he, he's doing really well. And I wanted to actually... I think his next fight should be for the British title. So I think we should go and then maybe get people to come along. Yeah. We could make an evening out of it, so... Yeah, I'm up for that. I like me boxing. We'll put... When the date comes out, we're... Um, <laughs> We put a message out, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's good. One thing I noticed, I'm going. Nah, I know you boxing, do I? I know. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I noticed at the airport is the energy of the pit staff. Like everyone's at the airport because well, majority are going on holiday in a happy mood, but when you're going through that security, it's like the staff are not cheery. It's just there. Would you want to be taking people's shoes off all day? Yeah, but it's just. Hey. There's no happy energy at the airport. I wouldn't be happy working a job like that. They're Not just being all aggy because you're like stepping in the line and pushing the thing too hard, like and it's going down the rollers and getting caught. Yeah. But yeah, it's like the energy there. It must be a frustrating job, Kieran. Yeah. And you know what else is sad? What? Remember the days when people thought, yeah, I'm going to go to the airport and go duty free. That's all gone now, isn't it? What, duty free? No, it's not gone. But who thinks, oh, I'm going to get save money by going duty free? It just oh, yeah, happen. no. You don't like, them days are gone, aren't they? Yeah, you're just walking into a shopping mall. Yeah, that's like, all it is, isn't it? And it's but, no offers, really, is it? Back then, people used to buy cigarettes from there and drink. and But them days are gone. Yeah. It's quite sad, isn't it? Sad that I'll people are smoking less. I starting to get depressed yeah. going through the airport. <laughs> sad, when, to, sad that people ain't got 20 packets of B&H in, yeah. in their bags these days, yeah. Meant to be a trip. I'm Terrible. <laughs> there was, um, have you seen these these robot waitresses? There was one at the airport. Really? They take Yeah, so it's not a person. What, it's Stans a, did? No, this was in Belfast coming back. Oh, really? <laughs> so we see this like robot type thing with food on it. So it drove to the table and then the person got up from their table and took their food off of it. It had their like table number. Really? You're not seeing them? No. Nah. Does it clean the table as well? No. Nah. But yeah, so they're replacing waitresses with these... Robots. Robots that take their food to the table. Getting very Terminator-y, innit? Yeah. That's quite scary, innit? Like, they've just walked to the table. They've got to put the food on the thing anyway. Just walk there. Oh, that's a bit, bit futuristic. That's the though, first time I've ever seen that. But I've heard of them. That's the first time I've seen it. But yeah, times are changing, man. Yeah, um, what did I do at the weekend? Yeah, what did you do the weekend, mate? Um, I, st I just sloughed all weekend, really. Did you? Sloughed. Yeah, no, I feel all right. I feel good. I had a nice roast dinner yesterday. Oh, God, I'm going to tell you something. So we, we landed at like, going out there, our flight was delayed two hours, coming back delayed an hour. We ordered a Toby Carvery at like half seven on the way back. We haven't done it before. We thought, let's try it. Found a roast. Fancy the roast. Went home. It just weren't assigning to a driver. So I called an hour later saying it still hasn't assigned to a driver. He said, well, it's repaired. I said, well, it's no good if the driver ain't turned up. I said, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it didn't get delivered. So I ended up having pasta, beans and cheese. 
<laughs> it's funny, right? I was in the Toby car three months, right? And um, was in the queue, you know, you're in the queue for the, the yeah, yeah. for it all. And this geezer, right? This geezer, and rightly so, he's going, because we're all like getting the ump in this queue. And he's going, it ain't been the same since they've done the Eats, the Uber Eats and all that, and the deliveries for like the Carveries, right? And the manager, he's boxing up, like mm. clearly deliveries. Right? He's going, what are you talking about, mate? And he's actually, t- he heard the customer and he said, what are you talking about? And he went, well, he goes, since you've done it, the, the queue time is much longer. He's gone, no, mm. it's not. As he's boxing up a delivery yeah, and ignoring yeah. everyone else. He went, of course it is. He went, look, look what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? And the, the, the guy behind the ramp was arguing with the cut. I thought, that's fucking rude, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of the customer is always right? Do you know what I mean? The geezer next, he got the right ump, he did it rightly so. I thought, yeah, mate, you're right. He's literally like, he, he's undermining himself because he's boxing up delivery and saying, no, it's not slowing anything down. <laughs> fucking idiot. Do you know what I mean? But. That's, um, so you had a nice roast dinner. I had a lovely roast dinner. Yeah, lovely roast dinner down by the sea. Oh, he's down down there. Uh, Whistable was yeah. It's the bright nice, side. Nice, nice, mate. Yeah, the bright side. So that just was a good. thought, like just come to my head. Why? Why do you try and speak so cockney? Like, why are you putting this false? Before the show, you was all right, and now like he's you're exaggerating. He, he's 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 referring to a comment in the comment section. <laughs> Bennett, was Robbie, it, what was it on show, TikTok or YouTube? Yeah, let me read out the comment. Is it just me or do Cockneys in brackets Mockneys exaggerate their poxy accent? I'm not even a fucking Cockney, all right? I'm from Essex, mate, all right? I'm not even a Cockney and this is my accent. I'm not trying to exaggerate it or anything. This is the way I talk. No, I, okay, so let me just put my normal voice on. This is the way I sound. Fuck's sake. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> We had um, we had a comment to our Euler's. That sparked quite a bit of interest, didn't it? Yeah, the Euler's, yeah, got a bit, Euler's didn't video. It? This is an interesting one in in Bradford. So at Brendan Fisher two five two eight has put, we have a clean air zone in Bradford now. Euro five vans do not comply, so they would need to pay twelve pound when they go into the zone. But we don't know the zones, and they won't tell you if you have gone into the zone. You just have to pay just in case you have or you get a £125 fine per visit. Problem is Euro 6 vans have gone through the roof, especially transit vans. A decent six-year-old transit is around 30 k That's more than the average house price in Bradford, LOL. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know about house prices in Bradford, but uh. I know that, yeah, that the price of a van now... But how can you not tell people where the zones are? I know, are? but there's a loophole in there, out there or something. There's some guy who's managed... I don't know if he was a scaffolder. He's managed to not pay, or he didn't pay for any of them mm. because something to do with it not being legally binding or something or other, the actual ULES charge or something or other. I can't mm. remember what it was. But, yeah... you. You should, be able they, to should, check. they should be able to tell you where you're going. Not yet. I was in Birmingham the other week, yeah, on a some uh, awards. I went thing. there, yeah, yeah. yeah. And 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 I got a letter through the they've post. They've got a zone. They yeah. got me. I didn't even know I was in the zone. But they've got signs there. Yeah, I know, but Bradford, I weren't looking. For, I weren't they looking they at the signs, was I? I think I did see one on the way yeah, in, yeah. and I chose to like think. Uh, ignore it. You'd be like, no, my van's fine for this. Yeah, we'll clean right. air zone. They won't see me driving about in a bright green van. Yeah. I feel I'm an Asda delivery driver. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it's it's getting stupid, isn't it? Yeah, but it's ridiculous. But that we topic, spoke about uh, this, we've done we? that topic. Let's not do that topic again because it just <laughs> fucking winds me up. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we have got a story of the week. Ooh. Someone sent in a story. Ooh, yeah. It's not written the best way, but we'll, we'll go for it. So he was under a bath when a customer runs in putting her kid on the toilet to have a shit. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking how thin is this geezer? What? How has the bath been like put up? What do you mean he's under a bath? He's obviously fixing the taps and they've come running in because the kid's got diarrhea. (laughs) He wasn't hiding under it then. (laughs) No. (laughs) From some unsuspecting. You say, excuse me, mate, can I come in and put my kid on the toilet? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I suppose yeah. that stuff happens. Be more embarrassing if it was the woman of the house. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Sorry, love, I've got to turn one out. <laughs> I think like, go on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hello, you wonderful listeners and watchers. Just pumping the brakes on this exciting episode to let you know about Kieran's app. That's changing the game in the gas certificate world. If you're sick and tired of doing gas certificates on paper, then gas certificate app is your way forward. But it wouldn't be an app worth talking about if that's it. With no hassle, you can manage your diaries, invoices and quotes for all your jobs so you'll never be chasing paperwork again. Don't forget those boiler manuals. I can tell you how many times I've been looking at a boiler and thinking, what the... Thankfully, the in-app boiler manuals have saved me and got me out of quite the pinch. If it's helped Pete here, then Gas Certificate app will definitely help you, especially with its easy-to-use gas red calculator and the extremely handy ability to duplicate certs. Brilliant for when you're doing your annual services on previous jobs. So click the link down below or in the description. Use the code POD30 to get 30% off yearly subscriptions. That's for all new users. That's POD30 for 30% off our yearly subscriptions for new users. Because it's National Apprentice Week, um, please send us in your stories, any, anything that's happened to you, even if you're looking for apprentice and you're struggling, any comments where you can help people, like where they can find apprenticeships. But yeah, send us in your stories and we'll read them out on the next show. There was... You brought up a topic that you want to speak about. Should we speak about it? What, sexual health? Yeah. <laughs> Should we get into it? Yeah, well, I just think I feel about, like the last couple of ones have been a bit serious. Yeah, I mean, like the, um, you know, like dating apps these days. Yeah. Like sexual diseases. What, the one you were showing me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. I'm joking. I'm joking. I ain't on any, any dating app. Cut that out. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I ain't on no dating no, apps. She would know we're joking. Um, Sexual disease is going through the roof, isn't it? I Must be. Must be. I mean, I'm glad I don't get anywhere near that sort of thing. Oh. But, like, I know people, right? Who is have... that why you've got a beard? Because you're covering up the coal source. Goodness of Irex. It must be going through the roof, isn't it? Have you ever had a. Uh, sexual no, disease. Not, not that I know of, but sometimes you don't know, do you? No, I didn't. Never, I've never done. <laughs> I've never done a test. Do you know what? Right, ever. I, don't, I have. I am. Um, I don't want an umbrella what, down me. I tell you what. Yeah, I had that in back in the old days. I mm. don't think it's so bad nowadays. But I remember there was a rumor went round town, right, that this bird that I'd slept with had something, or a bloke she slept with before me. <laughs> So I remember I was 19, right? Something like that, right? She'd slept with him and he'd given her something. And I was like, oh, oh, fuck. So I told me dad, right? So mm. he, he went up the old uh, sexy disease clinics with us, right? <laughs> and I had a form of chlamydia. Like I called it NSU or something like that. When was this? Oh, was a few about, weeks ago. No. Fuck's sake. No, sorry, I, was, I just said 19, sorry, didn't I? Sorry. Stop trying to butt in with something that's irrelevant, <laughs> no, right? When I, was, when I was 19. Yeah. So when I was 19, and, and so they put on me on antibiotics. But the worst thing about it was mm -hmm. I had to tell a partner. What they said you've got to tell. You've got to tell. If you've slept with anyone after, you have to tell that partner. Because otherwise that's how it gets spread around. No exactly. one says anything. And as a responsible person Adult, yeah obviously wasn't that responsible <laughs> so i wouldn't have been in that position but as a responsible person after i actually had to go and tell a partner i'd been with right which to be quite honest with her her family were a bunch of hard nuts and i was scared mm. to knock on the door <laughs> so i got me mate to knock on the door and said <laughs> can you tell her well, you didn't go around there. <laughs> you didn't go around no, there. No, I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I said, can you tell her to meet me and I'll pick her up? Because I don't want to go to her house. Well, they did have mobile phones then. No, I didn't have mobile then. <laughs> you didn't couldn't bring her and say, I was like 19, this is before I had a mobile yeah. and all that, right? MSN, so, though. So my mate knocks on the door. <laughs> my mate knocks on the door. He gets her out, right? Bless her, right? She was a, a mate of mine from school and all that as well, but her family was not a mate anymore. Right. <laughs> hey, wait, yeah, Pete wants to meet you, right? So bless her, right? I've picked her up. She's got the old perfume on, isn't she? She's flutting her eyelashes. Because she thinks I'm <laughs> she thinks I'm gonna ask her out. Do you know what I mean? Or, or or say, can we continue this? And she went, so 
what, what are we doing here? I went, right, I've been to the clinic. <laughs> 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 and um, it's not good news. <laughs> I seem to have picked up something from somebody before and I may have given it. But, you know what, I took her to the clear. I so thought, it couldn't have been her? Well, it could have been. I mean, she did <laughs> say... Been. she, she, <laughs> She said she was a virgin, right? But, you know, who knows? You know, you know mm. I did my bit. My, res- my <laughs> what, responsible took her virginity. <laughs> <laughs> she was nineteen. I was nineteen. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> we did it on a rugby field, actually. Did you? Yeah. What you oh. took her virginity on a rugby field? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor woman. She's never going to forget that. That's meant to be like a <laughs> scrum down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, so um, I forward passed it on to her. Did I? <laughs> Poor woman. <laughs> took her virginity and you've gave her a bloody chlamydia. Happened to me. The bird who took my virginity gave me it. Where did you, where did you lose your virginity? In a bed. <laughs> <laughs> In a bed. But to be fair, to be <laughs> we're going deep now, right? To be fair, I'd been seeing the girl for about two weeks, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is our kids kids, right? Just be just just go with your head. Don't just try Protect and, yourself. Just try and not get that your virginity out of the way, right? Just because you want to get your virginity out of the way. <laughs> I remember she undressed. <laughs> Right, and, and I'd been seeing her for a couple of weeks, right? She undressed. And I should have known, I should have known that this was going to be a bad move when there was a love bite on her tit. <laughs> 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 Honestly, I went, what's that? A rash. Oh, it's, it's just a, is that a love bite? Yeah, but it was not what it looked like. All right, then, let's carry on then. <laughs> You're like, how, how do I give you a love bite? <laughs> how do I do that? <laughs> Let me do the other one so it looks more symmetrical. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah. But, yeah, you got to... Um, well, I think, like, with these days, like, getting back to the subject matter, it's got to be more rife, isn't it? Because the amount of people... They weren't like it in our day, like, when we was younger. Yeah, because dating, dating sites a lot more... You had, to go out people, and, yeah. you had to go out and graft, mate. You had to go and wait for the mm. slow dances at the end of the night, at the nightclub, yeah? To try... <laughs> I wouldn't get... Nah, nah, I'm not dancing. I'll wait to the slows. Wait to the slows. Mm. And then you might be able to neck someone on the dance floor. But even going out, Perhaps like... get their number and then get your mate to call them up. <laughs> It used to be so busy then, <laughs> didn't it? It used to be so busy, like when you used to go out now. Yes, it's dead, innit? Hit and miss. Like if you go out once, it's dead. It can be dead, innit? Every weekend it was busy. When Everyone's I went out. doing shit online all the time, isn't they? Everyone's. Everyone... Oh, so... oh, it seems seedy, doesn't it? Yeah, everyone's doing videos on Instagram and. <sighs> just seems seedy. Online just seems seedy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's another. I feel sorry, not, not just women, but. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a look at the dating things and I was like. Nah, this is not for me. Dating mm. websites and all that. It's just not. You don't know who's behind that nah. screen, especially women. Like, you get fucking catfished or anything, yeah. innit? Anyway, I suppose the the message is um, strap up. Strap. No, not strap up. <laughs> strap, <laughs> strap up. Don't advise kids to strap up. I mean, uh, you know. Strap um, up and get donkey punched. Put the. <laughs> 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 no, no. Cover it. <laughs> put, put some protection, protection on. Protect put yourself protection all the time. I don't mean a Sainsbury bag with a rubber band. On, yeah. all right? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh dear. But yeah, that's... Uh, Who uh, we got a uh, guest on Thursday? Who's Thursday's this guest? This guest is Thursday is... Uh, the Home Improvement Channel are coming on. If you know the Home Improvement Channel, you should do. If you're in the trades industry, you should know who they are. They're bloody massive now. They're everywhere and they're real good lads. And they're friends of mine as well. Um, they've helped me out a lot. Mm. So they're going to come on here, chat about a few things. Looking hopefully, forward to that. Hopefully not like uh, smash the joint up, but you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> They'll be rebuilding this day. Yeah, should, should, be, uh, should be a laugh. Yeah, so uh, should we wrap up there? 
Let's <laughs> you get that. L- you like that? Wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think of that before uh, I said yeah. it. That's what I said. I said that's what I should have said, didn't it? But yeah. I said strap up. <laughs> <laughs>